In the spirit of renewing the bipartisan commitment to standing with Israel and Zionism, for the very first time at the same platform, on the same table, two equal microphones, uh, we welcome Haley Sofer, the Executive Director for the Jewish Democratic Council of America, and Noah Silverman, the Congressional Affairs Director for the Republican Jewish Coalition. Welcome to the American Zionist Movement Washington Forum. You can speak from there or here as you prefer. Okay, good. Please welcome Haley Soifer, the Executive Director of the Jewish Democratic Council of America. I want to thank the American Zionist Movement for convening this important event and recognize the members of Congress, congressional staff, Jewish community leaders, and others who have joined today. I also want to acknowledge my colleague from the Republican Jewish Coalition, Noah Silverman, and thank the AZM for bringing us together today. Our being on this stage together epitomizes the theme of today's event regarding the importance of bipartisan support for Israel. On behalf of the Jewish Democratic Council of America, we could not agree with you more in selecting this important theme for today's event. We strongly support the U.S.-Israel relationship and have repeatedly and forcefully spoken out in support of maintaining bipartisan support for our ties to Israel. We did so just last week when JDCA issued an action alert to the Senate and House in support of passage of the Israel Anti-Boycott Act in the end of the year spending bill. We did so the week before when JDCA called on Senator Rand Paul to lift his hold on legislation authorizing the U.S.-Israel Memorandum of Understanding, codifying the 10-year, $38 billion commitment to U.S. military aid to Israel made by President Obama. We did so during the midterm elections, when JDCA endorsed 58 candidates, more than 80% of whom won their election, who supported our values, including the importance of maintaining strong and bipartisan commitments and ties to Israel. We also did so during the election when JDCA spoke out against three Democratic candidates who did not share our views on Israel. And we did so earlier this year when we called on U.S. Ambassador David Friedman to refrain from using a diplomatic platform to espouse partisan views on Israel. No U.S. ambassador has spoken in such partisan terms, and JDCA does not believe it's either in the U.S. nor Israel's interest to do so. JDCA strongly believes that U.S. support for Israel should remain a bipartisan issue, which is why a central tenet of our platform includes an explicit statement of support for the unbreakable bond between the United States and Israel in light of our shared security interests and common values. We know the majority of American Jews share this view. That is why more than 92% of Jewish voters, according to a bipartisan poll conducted in October, identify themselves as pro-Israel. While there are a wide range of views on policies of both the U.S. government and the Israeli government within the Jewish community and elsewhere, that does not diminish the bipartisan commitment to the bond between our two nations. In closing, I will reflect on the fact that I have worked for four members of Congress going back to 2002. I have worked in the executive branch during both the Bush and Obama administrations. I shared a Shabbat in Jerusalem with Senator McCain and others that epitomize the importance of bipartisanship when it comes to U.S. support for Israel. And it is incredibly encouraging to know that bipartisanship on this critical issue exists today, perhaps more so than any other issue.
JDCA will continue our efforts to ensure that is the case, and we are confident that the Democratic leadership and the new freshman Democrats who will soon arrive and the leadership that will assume, assume control of the House will ensure that is the case in the 116th Congress and well into the future. Thank you.